this is our second tutorial on this design of reinforced concrete structure scores and today we will look at a numerical regarding calculation of cracking moment of a given section so we have a reinforced concrete beam section given in the figure here assuming that the concrete is uncracked this is our question compute the bending stresses so first problem is to compute the bending stresses in the extreme fibers of the beam having a size of 600 mm by 300 mm 600 mm is our total depth of the beam and 300 mm is its width it's shown in figure for a bending moment of 60 kN meter so we are given with the cross section of the beam we are given with the bending moment that is acting on the beam and we have to determine the bending stress in the extreme fibers of the beam this is our first part <coughs> and in the second part we have to determine the cracking moment of this section so in the first part we are assuming that the concrete is uncracked in the second part we have to determine the cracking moment of the section and the concrete grade is given as 25 megapascal so let's start with this numerical here is a moment equation that we have all learned in structural mechanics that is not structural mechanics strength of materials we have this bending equation given here m over i f over y and e over r are all equal to each other so in the first case we have to compute the bending stress which is f where we have to calculate in the extreme fibers of the beam so this condition gives us the value of y the applied bending moment is 60 kN per meter we have the m and by using the cross sectional dimensions of this beam we can determine the moment of inertia that is the gross moment of inertia so we will use this part of the equation in our first case to calculate the bending stresses so for this let's first calculate the gross moment of inertia which i will represent as ig so the formula is bd cube over 12 here d is the total depth and b is the width of the beam so because we have a neutral axis here and this neutral axis is cutting this depth part here if this is the total depth of the beam then the part or the dimension that this neutral axis is cutting is the depth part so the cube is applied to the depth here so width we have is 300 mm and total depth we have is 600 mm whole cube over 12 you will get this value of moment of inertia or second moment of area is 5.4 into 10 to the power 9 millimeter to the power 4 now bending stress in extreme fiber f is represented as m into y over iz if you cross multiply here and determine the value of f you will get this formula so the value of m is 60 kN meter i will use the unit millimeter so this will be changed to 60 into 10 to the power 6 newton millimeter into now y means we have to find the distance of the extreme fibers from the neutral axis so we know that when the concrete is uncracked as we discussed in our previous lecture the neutral axis of the beam will lie at its centroid so the neutral axis now will divide the beam into two equal halves so the distance of the extreme fibers from the neutral axis is depth divided by 2 so that comes out to be 600 divided by 2 is 300 mm and the gross moment of inertia is as we calculated above 5.4 into 10 to the power 9 mm to the power 4 so if you perform this calculation you will get the value is 3.33 Newton per millimeter square, or you can also call this 3.33 megapascals. 
so we have got the answer to the first part of the question the bending stress is 3.33 megapascals now let's go to the second part now what we have to determine in the second part is the cracking moment of the section that is mcr if we take the same equation that we used here to get the value of mcr the cracking moment of that beam will induce the generation of or will cause this fcr which is the modulus of rupture because when the moment is equal to cracking moment the stresses in the concrete fibers will be equal to the flexural strength or the modulus of rupture of that concrete which is represented as fcr and the value of fcr is given by the is code is 0.7 root over the characteristic strength of concrete so 0.7 the concrete grade we have used is 25 megapascals so 25 this means 0 0.7 into 5 you get is 3.5 megapascals now you can determine the value of mcr now mcr is given as fcr into iz divided by y we got this from the same bending equation here so FCR is 3.5 megapascals. The gross moment of inertia is 5.4 into 10 to the power 9. And the value of Y is again 300. Just convert all these values into similar units and then perform calculation. You will get this is 63 into 10 to the power 6 megapascals. So this is the value of, sorry, this is not megapascals. I think this is Newton millimeter because this is the unit for moment. So 63 into 10 to the power 6, you will get the value of the cracking moment. And if you compare this cracking moment with the applied moment in our first case, our applied moment was 60 kilonewton per meter. That means 60 into 10 to the power 6 newton millimeter so you can see that the cracking moment value is greater than the applied moment so our assumption that the concrete was uncracked in the first part of this question holds true since the moment that we have applied in the first part this moment value is lesser than the value of the cracking moment so we have completed the second part also first we calculated the bending stresses in the extreme fibers of the beam of the beam for the given value of bending moment and in the second part we calculated the cracking moment of the section based upon the properties of the section that we were given so this brings us to an end of this tutorial too we'll meet again soon in our next lecture thank you